In the wake of another death at the hands of police, protesters are again taking to the streets demanding police reform. Gabriela Becerra shares why activists say reform could have prevented another officer-involved death in Minnesota. I just can't sit here and watch people die. The shooting of a 20-year-old black man, Dante Wright, during a traffic stop in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, motivated Ferguson Orr to stand up for justice here in Madison, Wisconsin today. I'm just tired of seeing all these injustices like towards people of color and whatnot and like this whole situation with Dante Wright just kind of really messed me up. Orr and a group of protesters are demanding reform to the entire law enforcement system starting with police officer training. I mean the whole situation where she was reaching for her taser and grabbed her gun like there that just needs to be better training. Orr says better training could have prevented what happened to Wright. And it's definitely going to like show light that there needs to be change especially a year after something like George Floyd. While there's been many deaths at the hands of police since George Floyd, Tatiana says it's nothing new. It's great that people are paying attention. She says the officer who pulled the trigger on Wright should face charges more severe than manslaughter. It's not a mistake. And if it is, it's one that's only okay because he was a black man. And it doesn't matter where you are in the country. Tatiana says all people of color worry that what happened to Wright could happen to them. Living in fear constantly, being constantly put down. That's not life. We don't live real life. In Madison, Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now. UW-Madison students plan to protest with the same message tomorrow. A march will begin at Camp Randall at 2 o'clock and will end at the state capitol. Organizers say they'll also be taking donations for local food pantries.